Aloha. Hell yeah. So, uh, this one's probably going to be a pretty long one. Uh, I just watched this video. And I'm going to put the link down um, underneath of this so that you guys can check it out for yourselves. Uh, definitely do that if you are interested in, in getting healthy and clearing out your body so that your mind becomes clearer because that's what this is all about. So, uh, yeah, this guy is uh, Robert Kassar, uh, Earther Academy. This is YouTube and his uh, website. And he does these talks with people uh, in, in the sauna, and I have several of them. They're, they're all gold. And, uh, yeah, this guy, uh, I think he, he said that his name was Nick. Uh, 21, I, I don't think I got into that yet, but, uh, yeah, th and this is uh, a very amazing thing to see. Uh, this guy will attract, um, some, some young people, because mostly it's, it's people either middle age or, or even a little bit older than that, because they, they realize that. Um, they're not getting healthy by listening to, to the system and taking the advice of the doctors. And uh, they're kind of in panic mode. So. The, the few uh, super young people that he gets on here, they're just... It, it really just, just lights... lights everyone up to, to be around these these uh, kind of people because uh, it's it's the embodiment of like an old soul you know in a young body the uh, the wisdom it's beyond their years uh, within their current embodiment So yeah, this is just another perfect example of this. Uh, and the lighting on here, because of my phone, it's kind of, it's a lot brighter. So it's, it's making him look like an albino. <laughs> making this guy look like a, I don't know, a purple, some kind of a purple being. But, uh, you just look into his eyes and... Uh, whenever you look into someone's eyes, you can tell, you know, what's what's behind there, what's what's uh, really down deep, where they're coming from, the essence, the consciousness that's there, and yeah. <laughs> once you once you've done a fair bit of clearing and feeling again. You can just look into someone's eyes and you can have some, some crazy fucking connections and conversations, uh, engagements, without even saying anything. Because the, the language that is being shared and felt is uh, on a frequency and vibration that uh, words, that it only slows down that, that connection. So yeah, before I play this also, shout out to ZigZag, um, I just watched his latest two videos, uh, that, that was awesome dude, and, and thank you for the shout outs, and I, I feel the same, and it's, it's been absolutely amazing to, to connect with, with, uh, someone so badass as yourself, and also, uh, someone so humble. So a lot of what you said uh, and how you approached um, the situation and the people that you were engaging. And then also giving shout outs to, to P. 
people that were doing the same. That's it just reminds me of uh of engagements that I've had uh not all that long ago where um basically it was just that was just the mirror of of what I went through and uh, just an appreciation and expressing that appreciation that thank you for actually, you know, being able to commune a little bit and not get instantly triggered or instantly flared up and we're actually actually able to have a conversation and sometimes i'll even say this to people when i know that they are actually when i know that they are triggered and they want that kind of a, a fight and engagement to feed that thing inside them I, I will and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but if i present to them like hey i don't reflect that what they are you know projecting i i I state, you know, I, I appreciate the conversation. I, I'm learning from this. And thank you for actually allowing a, a discourse. Then sometimes you're able to actually get them to come out of that, to take a step back from their uh, triggered state. And you're able to kind of... Uh, Catch, catch, a, catch a wave, catch a vibe, uh, a tune a little bit with one another. So yeah, uh, big fucking shout out to ZigZag and, and what you, uh, the two videos you just put out. All the fucking videos he puts out are just fucking fire. But uh, those, those last two are especially important because this is... We have to we have to disengage from this uh, fight or flight response in that. Uh, and why I'm making this with with this video uh, is or saying this with this video is that you know it all comes back down to clearing out the body, like understanding for yourself what true health really is, doing the work for yourself. Realizing and recognizing the clarity that happens once you really start to get clear and dive deep. And the transformations that happen. The communion that happens inside of you. Um, and being able to receive a clearer message with what's your body is really telling you and not being mixed up, not getting mixed signals because of all the garbage, the, the garbage and the toxicity and the, the bullshit BS belief systems and structures that have been set up, the scripts to that are there to confuse you. Once you start really digging down deep and clearing out the shit you become more clear, less confused. You're able to really hone in on the in the felt experience in the heart. You're able to really listen. So yeah, we'll see uh, what we play with this because, I mean, really I just want to play most of it because it's, there's so much here. So I'm going to try and try not to do that because, yeah. So tell us a little bit about yourself. This guy's a different type of a person just to let you know. Um, he's a young uh young cat, as we say, and uh, he's really... Also, <laughs> one thing with uh, this guy, Robert Kassar, he has a habit of just uh, wanting to talk and talk, um, and that's, you know, a lot of that's because he has a lot to share, he has a lot of experience and wisdom that he's uh,
done for himself and so he wants to share this but he he does uh, have a have a habit of cutting people off and then just going on on and on different tangents and <laughs> so oftentimes his his uh guests or interviewees uh don't get very many words in <laughs> in comparison different than most 20 year olds that I meet just because uh, he's got pretty well rounded in the areas that uh, we all need to know as far as stretching, exercising, taking care of yourself, and just getting a better you know, world view on what's going on and being able to be adventurous and try different things and come to the big island of Hawaii and, and uh, sort of live in a naturalistic super environment that only certain types of individuals like to do. Unless you're really wanting to immerse yourself in nature and immerse yourself in these places that Hawaii gives you, then um, the city is going to go ahead and actually feel really good for you, and you're going to get everything you need in the city. But for some reason... And, and a lot of times, <laughs> this guy is so used to talking that he, uh, the meaning and the words get a little mixed up for him. And sometimes he catches it, sometimes he doesn't. But essentially what he's talking about is uh, whenever people really want to get real and they hone in and they uh, dedicate themselves to cultivating a clearer connection with their their inner nature, the, the, the truth of the nature that they are, then the outer nature, the projection of that, um, that's that's what they're going to be drawn to because we are we are drawn to our own likeness of what we are. So uh, the city life is going to be comfortable for for people who have those programs still still inside of them. And this has everything to do with the the truth of uh, who we are, the truth of our past, um, the truth of our history. And I'm going to be uh, reading from a book here, probably in my next video. I thought about doing it in this one, but no, it's already going to be too long. Um, but it will get into this as well, uh, the true images um, and replacing the false narratives with accurate images. And a lot of the truth, it's going to be hard to digest and swallow. And that's why you've got to clear your system out so that you can handle it. And yeah, it's going to be painful at first, but that's part of the process. Another transmutation that you have to go through is feeling the pain, listening to the pain, actually sitting there with it, understanding it, instead of freaking the fuck out, which is what you've been taught to do for most people, or or suppressing and suppressing it, also, also bottling it up, not allowing the release to happen and the healing to occur. We have we have pain for a reason. It's a signal, and it's a, it wants us to move. It wants us to seek the the heal, the healing, the the revealing of why it's there. There's something stagnant that needs to be readjusted, and reminded that we actually do seek and want harmony and homeostasis and clarity. And a lot of people may say that they, you know, they do want things like this, but saying something and doing it are two worlds apart. What's your deal? Why are you here? Yeah, well, <laughs> big story. Right? 
Long story short, I, I grew up in Cancun, Mexico, and even though I was born in California, and I've been a long time windsurfer, it's been a big passion of mine. And what brought me to Hawaii was a windsurfing competition in Maui, Hawaii. So I went to Maui, I was planning on staying three weeks, and I just stayed. So that was the best decision I could have ever, ever made. And where, where were you from before? Well, uh, I grew up in Cancun, Mexico. Oh, the, uh, the whole time? Before you came actually to Hawaii? Uh, uh, actually, before I came to Hawaii, I had been living in the Bay Area four years. Okay, so you're still from Aguila, uh, Espanol, Perfecto, porque ese es el primero, el primero. Ah, uh, Perfecto. Uh, lenguaje. 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 Uh, I'm just trying to learn a new word. <laughs> <laughs> so he's, uh, you know, talking to my, my guy guy. And I'll say this real quick, just because it kind of reminded me of this. And uh, I've been to Hawaii once. And uh, it's really interesting because, like, uh, people will tell me that I have, you know, Hawaii vibes about me. And when I visited Hawaii, the things that I saw, uh, well, I won't go too far into it, but. The, uh, the things that I felt. Uh, a lot of remembrances that, that, that occurred. Uh, especially just, just in like, the, kind of island nations in the Philippines and, and, and whatnot, um, the connection there with nature, with also a warrior spirit, because there's, you know, just, and this is just with, with all of our true history, is just um, fighting off a, uh, an invader. And, you know, what we're taught is, you know, an invader of uh, a different people, or a different nation, a different country. But really, the invasion happened well beyond the manifestation of that. It happened with the invasion and the corruption, uh, perversion of, of the mind and of the connection, a severing a uh, distracting, a distortion of this connection. And then all the outer manifestations of that um, went into effect. And this is, these, these exoterics are the things that we, um, they uh, want us to focus on, and not even the correct uh, representation of the exoterics. It's, it's a twisted story that they have uh, spun because they control the web and, and uh, to the victors go the spoils, right? And whoever whoever claims the seat of power decides what stories to tell and what they want their people, the people they have decided are under them. But at the same time, the people that have succumbed to this. After time, over and over repetition, eventually things are ingrained and people are entrained. Into believing a lie, uh, dying for a lie. Here that runs, his name's Pedro, he runs the whole farm here, and these guys are conversing back and forth, talking Spanish, so it's really nice to uh, go ahead and have guys that uh, Pedro can talk to here, because uh, there's not too many people, even though everybody's got Spanish names here in Hawaii, not too many people here that speak Spanish. You'd think they all do, because <laughs> if you come from Southern California, everybody speaks Spanish, especially if you look like it a little bit. So, um, keep talking about your story. Yeah, so 
basically my journey has been, I mean, throughout my childhood, I, I always really, looking back, 2020 vision, you know, <laughs> I see that I've always been a truth seeker and always really had this strong intuition. So growing up in Mexico as a party town, so many of my friends started doing drugs and drinking alcohol. And I never actually got in that scene. I, I never felt compelled to, to do any of it. I've never been drunk in my life, I've, you know. So it's been very sheltered. Okay. Yeah, it's just it, out of it, my own intuition. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not because he was bound, it's because he sheltered himself from what he thought maybe wasn't the right field exactly. of energy and or what he sees other people that actually do this all the time, what they turn into. Exactly. Yeah. And naturally, I just uh, always resonated towards having deep, long conversations with my some of my parents' friends, and I really felt like I could have some meaning in those conversations, whereas there's so much, the consciousness of teenage years and all these things, and most people in general, is just very shallow yes. conversations, and I always sought meaning, and um, basically, I had asthma my whole life, and when I was 18, I started to really question what I was putting in my body, and as soon as I did that, I learned about GMOs, I learned about acidifying foods, and just all these things that are wrecking havoc in our system. This is also why I wanted to make this, is going into uh, health and, and uh, what we put in our bodies, the, the correct deities or, or diet. Is it really helping us thrive and become alive or are the diets causing death? Are we dying because we have encapsulated, we have uh, chosen a certain mentality to dictate what we do instead of feeling our way through and into everything. But this is what's hap this this is what happens. Uh first we have to take it upon ourselves to uh to re educate and, and learn what is what and this also, you know, is gonna take the form and it, for, for many people, because they're so used to being shallow, and that ultimately is going to come back onto a reflection of themselves, and that's because why they are shallow is because they, they will not dive down deep inside themselves because there is too much pain. They know that they will have to face something they don't want to face. And so... Also, we are indoctrinated into, you know, shallow learning. Uh, just think about the the school system. You you go from one topic to another, and the the very few students that actually want to take time and understand and learn about subjects, they're still on you know certain subjects. Whenever the class or the teacher moves on to other uh, topics, they and so oh they're they're behind. No, they just really want to actually research and, and learn for themselves. Dead, dead, dead animal flesh. Yes. Yeah. And so are, are you a, and this is what I call myself, I don't call myself a vegan, a vegetarian, or anything else. I just have a diet that has no blood in it. I don't eat blood. So blood, of course, comes from uh, an entity, a living organism. And so I try to go ahead and keep down any harm to any type of thing that uh, actually has a five sense being, you know, so. It's ultimately, uh, it's, it's coming to the realization of what uh, eating, what, what consuming, what, what that even means, um, how we are doing that on all levels. Um, beyond putting things in our mouth, beyond even putting things on our skin and absorbing and eating that way. But while we are engaging with the mind, that is that is eating and that is also an act of a transfer of energy that happens. Um, a transfer of intimacy, especially whenever whenever other people are involved. 
there's a transfer of energy that happens. For me, what that's done is actually elevate my connection to nature massively. Yeah. And, and you know, this guy here... And, like I said, it's... You, we get more in tune with our inner nature, and it uh, connects us with all of nature. As within, so without, the micro and the macro, they... They meld, the illusion of separation dissolves little by little. We are, we are able to feel and experience. What things are for how they are instead of the mentalities that we have been taught to see it as and react to and engage in a certain way that distracts from the raw isness of what something really is feeling that listening to that instead of constantly skipping like a pebble on top of the water on the surface level and never stopping that pebble and letting it sink and diving down into the depths into the darkness finding our own light He can stretch pretty darn good. He's like a sort of like a yoga expert a little bit. Yeah. And you know, because we're all, you know, only experts sometimes when someone else uh, below you is uh, is is watching you to say, "Man, how'd you do that?" Mm-hmm. And then you watch someone else and you go, "Man, I know nothing." Exactly. So you know, just understanding how to take care of your body and and really, uh, you know, learn just techniques just in the world that's going to give to you. Most 20-year-old guys, they're lost in space. So they're not learning. Motherfuckers, do this. Look this shit up. Do this. Gua sha. This is, this is uh, what he does with people whenever they get into the sauna. They get nice and sweaty and steamy and hot. They get the pores open and then they get to work. And uh, this is a whole process in, of its, in and of itself. My Kawasha experiences. Um, and I still would say I'm in the like beginning, moving into the uh, intermediate level. And I've been doing it for quite a fucking while. Like I pull shit out of my skin on the daily. And it's, it's just... Like, constant reminder um, of the state of beingness that we're in, uh, the, the state, uh, the dirtiness of our surroundings, and I'm talking about not just in our in our homes, I'm talking about whenever we go outside, we, we, you know, we can't see these small little particles, but they are everywhere, and your skin, ca- it catches, and your skin carries it and that's why it's so important to sweat sweat it out sweat out the fucking toxins sweat out the shit and that word toxins that that's an umbrella term it, it means uh it, several things fall into that category it's not what you think it is probably or what you've been led to believe that word is Sweating is so is so important. Uh, utilizing the skin cleaning is so important, and it will help you to realize ultimately just how dirty the environment is. Because you're gonna get to a point if you keep doing it where you you don't understand why. You are still pulling out so much garbage. So you, this this is just the beauty of this this process. This inner work is it um, 
it constantly throws up more and more questions so that you, you have to uh, really work towards an understanding of yes, seeking and finding the answers, but also allowing the answers to happen. And that, that's a process in and of itself, um, allowing the answers to come to you. But the questions um, happen that, that wouldn't normally happen because of the deep inner work. We access like deep layers and then bing, we find a gym. It's kind of like you, you mine. You, you're doing your own little inner uh, archaeology of your own inner landscape and bing, you find a fucking gym, a crystal. And with that comes a whole new plethora of experience and awareness and questions oh wow why are things like this what what is causing this what are the true causalities of this and uh if you seek the answers without if you start to do your your research and uh and deeply you you will find that the answers that are prevalent and that come about and are given for these questions are uh, unsatisfactory, to say the least. They um, just listen to your intuition, as in like listen to what your initial feeling is with the, the shit that. But then you know that also plays back into how clean is your vessel, how how clear is that transmission between your instincts and your brain? Because a lot of people, there's too many blockages and distractions, and so the message gets mixed up and twisted before it finally reaches your mind and your brain. You have already convoluted it because you can't help yourself. That's just part of the indoctrination and part of being unhealthy and not looking within. Learning a lot of the different, you know, things I see you do. So what, you, you, you've been playing around with, are, are, are you a vegetarian? Are you what you call vegan or what you call, uh, you eat meat or anything else? What do you... Yeah, actually, the first thing I changed was I stopped eating meat, and I said it was I was just gonna try it for a week, and that was when I started looking at all the ingredients of the packaged foods I was eating and learned about them all. And so, I, and that's beautiful. Like he just he said, you know, I'm just I'm just gonna try it for a week and see. This is what I recommend for people. Like if anyone's listening to this and they're still like heavy on the meat diet. If you're starting to get a little health conscious, just just do it as an experiment, just to see what happens. Go a week, or two weeks even, without any meat, and see what happens. See how your body reacts. Yes, at first, you're going to go through withdrawals. It's going to be hell. You're not going to like it. So at first, probably just a week. If you can do that, and if your body... If you allow your body time to readjust, to switch from getting those kinds of hormones and like that kind of blood source, an outside fuel source that is really only uh, distracting from, from your own inner power sources, your powerhouse of creating your own hormones, of strengthening your own blood and not taking in from, from that outside source. Once you tap into that, you, you, you will not, your, your whole view on, pretty much on health is going to change, but also on diet, also on eating meat. Because then you're going to experience for yourself that you don't need meat you don't you don't need it to uh, survive. You don't need it for protein, which is what everyone will fucking say. 
when they realize or when they hear that you don't eat meat. Well, how'd you get your protein? Uh, that's that's scientism shit for you again. That's don't talk to me about proteins and carbohydrates and sugars and fuel sources until you've done deep fasting work and then we can talk about it otherwise I don't it's just going to be going around and around like I'm not I'm not going to waste my time I'm not going to waste your time because you're not going to listen or hear so that's kind of where I'm at right now is until someone has done a deep level fast and cleanse for themselves multiple fasts then I don't really have much to say to them about diet or what to eat or what not to eat or any of this. The meat the meat eating is a huge is a huge milestone for people and uh, the hormones that are in the meat that the trauma that is in the meat also the bullshit chemicals that are in the meat they are controlling you more than you know and if you finally come off of them you will fucking know I stopped eating dairy and all animal products. But did you do it because of morality reasons, or you just did it because it's no, not good I, for me because I got asthma? Out of health reasons, yeah. And then my asthma went away within a few months. Okay. And I remember running one time, when, whereas normally I'd be wheezing and panting mm -hmm. and not being able to breathe. I, I could take a full breath after doing a really strong sprint. And that was a transforming moment for me. <laughs> so no matter which way you start to, you know, change your world. Ah, oh, man. This is beautiful, like coming back into the breath. When we uh, have these experiences in our lives where we're able to actually take in a full, deep breath and we feel the prana and life in that breath. But not, not just fully in, but also fully out. This is just absolutely ties back into your core, your abdomen, how healthy your core is. your guts because if you have blockages in your organs in your guts you're not going to be able to breathe all the way out you're just you're not going to and then breathing all the way in is going to be very uncomfortable for you so doing this deep level fasting and cleansing and clearing you're you're accessing more energy more bandwidth more prana is able to come in and be spread throughout all of your systems, all of your tubular system. You'll find out if you're wanting to, you know, not eat flesh because of moral reasons, well, then give it a try and see what happens. And if you want to stop eating flesh only because you find out that most flesh is really contaminated. Yeah. And it's got exactly. a lot of weird brain chemicals hooked to it, so depression and anxiety. Yeah, and, and it plays upon those things. And, uh, you know, with that saying, you are what you eat, well, this is absolutely the case because you, you, you are transmuting and transforming what you eat. You are becoming it and transforming it into something more refined but if you're taking if you're not realizing what you're taking in your body then your the process of transformation transmutation and refining it's going to take more time and it's the less awareness and attention that you put upon the process the the more time and energy your body is going to need to transmute it So with meat, there are so many life 
forces um, at play there in the blood, in the hormones, in the uh, the trauma. The the meat holds on to the emotion and the energy of that being and the memory. So would you rather consume memories, waters within? Would you rather consume an awareness and a light within a water source that has been traumatized, has been murdered, has been um, treated like shit and, and raised only to be slaughtered? That, that's what was its existence. And then pumped full of other hormones, other chemicals. Or would you rather consume the memory within the waters of something that has grown out in nature and has has a root system to where it's as below so above. It, it's uniting polarities and finding, seeking... It's finding balance just because that's what it is. That's what it does. That's what nature does. So realize that these plants, the intelligence in plant life, choosing to consume that is a huge step in getting clear. Choosing to consume, getting more and more refined, and choosing to consume things of your own likeness. And the more inner shit that you do, <laughs> the shit that you clear out, you're going to be more attuned and clear. And so you're going to attract things to you in that likeness. Because otherwise, most people out here are just fucking psychotic robots, and so they're attracting that likeness. And that's just being uh, spread and reproduced um, just uh, on a crazy degree right now to where it's it's uh, falling in upon itself. And frustration, doubt, and all the things that come along with death are present in the meat when you eat it. So <clears throat> if you don't exercise, you most likely have a bundle full of this stuff inside you, and you probably are one of those people that really easy just to get, you know, lit up a little fire, and your yep. emotions are off the wall. Yep. So, when's the last time? So, yeah, and I mean, I don't know if we'll get into where he's, he talks about it, but like, it's animalistic nature. Um, Everything has its purpose, but whenever we engage too much into one extreme or the other, we're we're off balance. Obviously, you're 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 distorted. You're not able to find the, the monad, and so you're flung to one side or the other. And oftentimes, people fling from back and forth. And we call that, or that's called bipolar. But everyone's fucking bipolar. It's just to what degree are you fucking crazy? But most people, they will not find that balance point between the two sides that they teeter totter back and forth from because that's where the truth is. That's where the isness is. And oftentimes that's where the pain lies because we've been ignoring it for so long. But once you listen to your pain, once you dive deep inside, you become that center point and you see both of the polarities and you choose when you want to engage one, how you want to engage one, or not. It's your choice. You have the option now of engaging a certain extreme. And right as I look at that, it's 44, 44. <laughs> So 
so you you do the work so that you're able to utilize and and use things as tools and aids and guides to to help you along your path to help you engage instead of being controlled by things you you are now the controller and conductor and orchestrator and you know that that has its limits as well because ultimately we have to realize also how to let go of that and how to let let things happen naturally but you know we, we still because of the control that we have we we are not triggered necessarily or as so easily triggered or offended and we can let things play out a little bit and see where they may lead so that if there's other people involved especially so that they don't think or feel or or at least they're not led to believe that um the other person or you are in control or are trying to dictate their their reality even though even though really you know that, that's kind of what's happening because it's an allowance that's happening because otherwise it would just be you know i don't got time for this shit so go fuck yourself <laughs> or we can take another path and be a little bit more subtle and gentle if we so choose to help people and this this word help and thank you also again zigzag for the, the partaking in the parts the particulars do you really truly understand and so that you can actually care about something or are you just a part of a process that you you have no idea really an understanding of I know to be sneak though that's all I've been about four years wow okay so remember that's 16 okay so let's see if we can find another place here oh wow yeah you know I wanted to to you know eat less sugar and and have more protein and less fat as, as the fuck diets back then were so I can get bigger muscles and uh, show off more. So <clears throat> it, whatever way that you need to, you know, sort of manipulate yourself to feel that that change is, is in action right now. And if it's uh, the need because you're sick or it's the need because you want to look cool or, <clears throat> excuse me, or you want to, uh, you know, stop eating because it's just not right. Uh, to be able to wake up in the morning and say, what am I going to kill today to stay alive? You know, whatever yeah. it is, yeah, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. If you go on a non-flesh diet, I'm just telling you, this is 100% truth. And anybody you ask that, that has done this, forget about their bodies, aches and pains, and all the things they go through, while the parasites don't get fed flesh anymore and all that stuff, that's withdrawals. Yep. But in time, you will have a connection with your mind, with nature, better than you ever have connection with relationships better than you ever have and this also is something that will happen with uh taking in your own waters it's it's actually a next level um to this so i mean there's there's levels of this shit people if you haven't already realized this and we just keep um finding deeper and deeper layers that we didn't know were there and we also help each other realize um, where we're getting caught up in um, pieces of the puzzle that we didn't necessarily see that we didn't connect we were helping each other connect um, mentalities and realities and ideologies and to paint a more and more clear picture 
of what is really going on within and without. On the, the big evolution of really, what's our purpose here? Uh, we don't know until we start to bind our left and right hemispheres together, because if not, all we're getting is a mental schism of one side of the fence and really not seeing the whole picture. Yeah. Exactly. So eating a non-flesh diet will help you massively with not even your connection with nature, remember, it's the connection with yourself. You'll see. <laughs> it's the same thing, like I said. Okay, let's see if we can get to another part here. Because this is already getting pretty fucking long. Um, oh, nope. That's not it. Feel. It's about, you know, uh, not only just running a retreat center, a detox center, but hmm. for six days. And on the seventh day, it gets a... So food that we've been fed, but, you know, so why don't you, do you eat at fast food restaurants at all? Do you eat out much? Okay, no, that's not it either. Huh. Oh. Oh, well, there's one part. Just a blob of energy for six days, and on the seventh day, uh, minerals, all these things, what they do is they're all energies. They all activate either your body or your mind. And so if you eat sugar, it activates your body. It doesn't activate your mind. It perverts it. And if you eat carbohydrates during the day, you'll find out that it's just a pure sedative. So, mm -hmm. you know, really, the idea is, you know, you finding your own path. And all you can do is... You should look up. I call this guy inspiration, in spirit. He doesn't even know what he's doing. Hell yeah. He's being guided. He's following the rules. Why are you here too? Oh, no, he, he, know, he knows what he's doing. Because <laughs> he's just feeling the process. He's allowed um, himself to flow with that river. He's not grabbing. He's not trying to grab at the banks and the shores and, and the rocks and the obstructions and the distractions in the river. No, he's navigating through all that. He's allowing this, the flow and the stream to happen. You can do anything you want to and go get a job or go to school. Mm -hmm. or you could do whatever. Why are, why are you here? Why do you want to sort of learn about detoxification, ideas about, you know, uh, not only just running a retreat center or a detox center, but really seeing what it, what the gratification is, is when people massively change when they do these protocols. Massively. Yeah. I mean, why did you want to do this? Is this sort of like school for you a little bit? Well, I feel that, I mean, in a way like you share, is that we all have different things to share for each other and, and pieces that I might not have seen yet. <laughs> you're vice versa. Making me aware of them. And well, vice versa. You're beautiful. from another generation that I can't see what you guys see. I can only show you what you, I think, need to see. And I don't really think I know what you need to see. Like, I've talked to you many times about seeing different documentaries, different films. Not to watch the film or anything uh, by the by the judgment of who the presenter is exactly. or the way, you know, the way someone's tune is. But just the message, take not the, the information messenger. And, and look at some of these things as, as I'm trying to guide you to show you that some of these pieces here that I feel that I know that are actually very advancing, that every person your age should be able to see, like, uh, for instance, because otherwise we're just talking in circles, uh, I mm -hmm. told you to watch the three different lectures that Mark Passio, P-A-S-S-I-O, does. Blam! Yes, Mark Passio is fucking awesome. Uh, this guy... There's the name. That guy has a crazy amount of fire and energy, and it's it's off-putting to people who are easily offended and triggered. And that's why I think it's even more beautiful, is that that's kind of the first litmus test, is that if you're able to actually listen to Mark Passio, then you're going to start to actually learn some shit, if you stick with it. Otherwise, you're just going to be like, oh, this guy's just... This guy's just too much.
definitely check out Mark Panacea as well. And if we're along that route, um, I'm also going to say check out Michael Tessarian. Michael Tessarian. And his lectures on um, our past, especially in the connections with Ireland. Uh, some brilliant work. Anymore. Yeah, the big picture is to be totally dedicated, and, and each action has behind it the intention of evolving my myself, my being. And with that, I feel that is it. I, mean, I know I went off in my last one about evolution. That's bullshit. So I mean. I don't get triggered or offended when people use that word. Um, I, I just see it as uh, basically how I see words anymore is that you know people are trying to hint at they're using guideposts and way showers to tr try to um, hint at their feelings, and so when people use certain words, I I I and instinctively switch them to more accurate words that are describing what they're really feeling. No, I do not <laughs> do what most people do, and that is um, hear what they want to hear. They they flip the, the people's words around, because it's because they, they don't hear the meaning. They, they're listening to the words, and those words are triggering them, so they don't hear the meaning um, shout out to Mayan Jin for putting up a video of uh, this this fucking crazy lady uh, doing exactly that, not listening to the feeling, only listening to what she wants to hear, and then reacting to that and getting triggered and offended and feeling empowerment and, and pride that she is. Uh, I'm I'm doing this for a reason, and I'm. I'm protecting myself and, and my people and my my feminism no you're acting like a crazy fucking cunt and I say that not not just applying that word cunt because I know that's that's a fucking trigger word I've, I've already been through that goddamn bullshit uh, or, or even bitch like bitch cunt like it's not a male or female thing there's there's many males that act very cunty and bitchy So yeah, it, it, it's it's a clarity thing. It always comes back down to clarity. Ability to better be able to serve others, you know, our brothers and sisters on this planet. Okay, well that's one layer. Remember, I try to teach these guys here, okay? You want to be smart on this planet and have at least a dozen worlds that are separate to the energy field that he just talked about. He's got his own personal needs, and that's his energy field. It doesn't involve anybody else but him. It's what it is. He needs this energy field. It's called the ego. You don't want it to run your life. But then again, if you don't have it, because a lot of people say I don't want it. Uh, no, 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 guys. It's doing you a favor. You just want to make sure you put it in its place. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know if I caught that the first time. So fucking gorgeous. It's a tool. And this is the transformation. We, we, we start to utilize things as tools. We're not, we are, we are, we're not the tool or, or the thing being used anymore. And this, this comes back down to the deepest work that we, you can do is to, to really reclaim your, your seat and your own beingness of your own consciousness. Not just operating in a surface level of an egotistical level, but realizing how to use the persona, different personas, different egos, for as the situation calls for, playing with this, having fun with this, and doing so in a lighthearted way. You call upon it when needed. And yeah. other energy centers, okay, that are needed to be activated to be able to really feel that the decisions that you're making have some type of 
worldly view. And there are enough documentaries, mm. enough information, just the information on Earth Through Academy, just for you to semi-clean up yourself. Guys, I do this myself. It's all a work in progress. Okay? As you know, I don't have a bunch of people helping me do this. I just do it all myself. I edit, I film. We're filming right now. Okay? And, you know, we're, we're really trying to go ahead and figure out, you know, uh, how's the best way to be able to, to share with people uh, that you have the power of, of your health at your fingertips if you want it. Beautiful. It does take work. It does take, not change, just upgrading. Okay? Nick upgraded from a dead carcass fuel. And that makes you disconnected from nature is because what you're doing is you're not eating the antenna, which are the plants. Beautiful. The plants are the antenna to the nature world or the spirit world or what the Egyptians called Naturi, which means the nature spirit world. <laughs> so eating flesh, what yeah. it does is disconnect you to seeing a lot of connection. You're not realizing what you're doing ultimately by doing that. You are um, short-circuiting yourself. Don't take my word for shit. Do the work yourself. Experiment. Take a week or longer off of eating meat. See what that does for you. And this is to the people that are addicted to it. And it's an addiction. You're not doing it. You've convinced yourself and allowed yourself to be convinced that you're doing it because you need it. But no, you're an, it's an addiction. And that's uh, one of the strongest addictions that we can go through is the addiction to sugar and the addiction with meat. And there are going to be intense withdrawals. You bet your ass. So go through the withdrawals. Go through it. Don't succumb to it. Don't revert back. Come out the other side into the clarity. And then, and then realize, and this will come with time and experience, but you'll ultimately come to realize that each time, each layer, that you become a little bit more clear you'll realize, ah, yeah, but this is just another layer. There is still another step. There's still another level of deeper understanding and clarity. And this is the process, and it's beautiful once you release into it and flow with it. Row, row, row your boat. Mm -hmm. So, trying to make sure that if you can, remember, 180 days, non-flesh, you don't want to... That's a big fucking commitment right there. Uh, don't do that at first if you're super addicted. Because you're not, there's no fucking way you're going to be able to do that unless you're um, of a different mind state, of a different uh, awareness to where you know all um, instincts, instinctive, instinctively that you don't, you don't need it to begin with. And then once you're, just like with this guy... Uh, once he got off of it, it wasn't a big thing to him. He didn't have withdrawals or anything because he knew that he didn't need to be doing it. And, and that's what it was like for me, uh, to be honest. Whenever I stopped eating meat, it wasn't a big thing. And I had people who were severely addicted to meat tell me um, how it would be for me because of their experience. So they wanted to... Um, distract and interject their experience onto me and I would listen I always listen to what people have to say but usually I'm just like no you're full of shit and no I'm not going to allow your mindset to dictate my state no just because something was I appreciate you sharing your experience but but realize that's what you're doing you're sharing your experience but instead of saying and this is how it's going to be for you I've, I've had this happen with, with quote unquote enlightened people it's like bro no I, I recognize and realize that you've been through shit that you've come out of it but but don't project your experience onto another person obviously you have not done enough inner work if you're still doing this shit you're still projecting and you're not, ultimately, you're not realizing what you're doing in your projection. And if that's happening, you need to just stop. <laughs> like I said in one of my previous videos. 
Um, just, just fucking stop. With the shaman, we'll, we'll tell, you know, the, the fucking sickened, civilized human that comes to them. What do I need to do? I, I need the medicine now. What do I need to do now? Okay, you need to fucking stop. What, what, what does that mean? What do I need to stop? Okay. What, what you're doing now? Just fucking stop. Stop it. I, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Exactly. Stop. Get into the stillness. Feel again. If you want to eat eggs, don't. Okay? But if you do, you know, you kind of get the... And once again, Jim's at the end. <laughs> so uh, let's see if we can happen upon some of these to end this. In the throat while it's alive, and of course it bleeds. Okay, yeah. And that's a whole other thing. It'll be too long. The duty side, or the side of action, the side that worries about itself, and trying to take sides. Remember, exactly. play the game. Dissolve them together. Okay. You find a little bit. Blam. That Temples. You can't take a pill for that. You ever seen one advertised on television? <laughs> take this pill and you'll have a clean mind. We'll clean it up. <laughs> clean your body up then. Body's your church. These are your temples, it's the left and right side of the hemisphere, that control the, this is the mind temples, and this is the body temple. And they're very complex organisms, okay, and they do need nurturing and guidance, and okay? they do run on... And they have been, um, over lifetimes, and many ideologies and cultures, they have been separated and encouraged to keep engaging the separation between body and mind, between the heart and the mentality of feeling your reality. So this is what we're coming back into. It's not an evolution. This is what I said before. It's not an evolution of... It's just a remembrance of what was always there. A remembrance of the truth. A remembrance of the felt connection. That's really all you need to do is just remember how to fucking feel again. And enter the stillness, and your questions will arise, but once you are able to kind of sit back and see them, and allow life to answer them for you, then that's, that's really all you need to do. You, you've, you've completed a certain layer of connectivity to where you recognize. You've allowed the recognition to occur to where you you realize that the answers are always there. They're always they've always been there. It's just how deep are you willing to go inside to feel them again? Can you quiet your mind so that you can actually listen to the feeling again? These are the questions. <laughs> so yeah, this is long enough. Um, definitely fucking check this video out. Video out. Check, definitely start to fucking clean your shit up. Start to clean your goddamn vessel up. Get into the deep level <laughs> integrations fast sweat detox utilize gua sha utilize your orin you don't really need to pay anything money wise just pay attention Awareness. 
That's all. All right. That's good. <laughs> Love you guys. Peace.